So we got the booth right there. Squirrel. Let's get it a little clear. We're using the slug today. And there's a fat ground squirrel. And there's another person. About here. Three squirrels. Let's take this guy out. Okay. Get that good. Focus on this. Good focus. Seems pretty good. It's a good focus. Between the shoulder blade, right behind the shoulder blade. That's where the heart is. Ready, set. in the chamber. Take a look. There's Booth. Coming back down. Let's hit the bell. Yeah, that's good. Hopeful auto. There's another one right there. This little guy right here. What the hell just happened?
move this thing out of the way. Want the camouflage recap. So we shot it right there. Got hit, rolled down, rolled all the way down, and ran and went in there. Still not sure. Let me fire a few shots in there. Keep it going. So this morning, someone, something, they got a huge pile of dirt underneath the walkway. And see what I found. This is about three days later. There's a piece of scroll here. Here's also another piece of scroll here. Right there in the middle. There's one. So what I suspect is the coyote smelled the, the rotten squirrel when it's walking by and took the squirrel sometime at night, dig it out from the walkway and hook it with it. The reason I noticed this is because of a bunch of fallen rock from the top of the hill rolled all the way down to the grass lawn. And I look up and I see a huge pile of dirt. It means the squirrel I shot earlier, three days ago, is most likely dead and retrieved by coyote overnight.